think more people are eating because like I love white rice. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I love white rice, but this rice has so much more flavor and it's so much better for you. And I found out the trick. I'm gonna show it to you in just a little bit. I'm gonna have you making brown rice all the time. So much better for you. It's a good carb. It breaks down um, better, metabolizes better than white rice. I'm talking about that secret, that trick. This is it. Instead of water, just use broth. You can use chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, any broth you want. So how much broth to the rice? Um, the same as how you cook your rice with water. I, as y'all can see, I'm bad with this. I always eyeball it. But I would say it's a um, half and half ratio. I did about two cups of rice, maybe two and a quarter cups of rice. And this is about two and a quarter cups of liquid. And like I said, you can always start with less than what you need to add more. So measure out your rice first. Like if you do a cup of rice, after you finish toasting it up, measure out a half a cup of liquid and add that. And then measure out your other half. You can always add more liquid, but once you've already added too much, you don't want to, you know, take it out. Especially not broth. It's not like it's water and you're just going to pour it out. I know I would be mad if I had to pour out chicken broth, but that's just me. And now I can turn this up a little bit more because, like I said, I'm just bringing it up to a boil. And they cook it like you normally would, but mm -mm -mm. already it smells so good. Okay. And to season up the Swiss chard or the greens, however you want to call them, I have some turkey bacon. I'm just gonna chop up and use with those onions. And you just cook it just like you know with greens. This turkey bacon gives it a good flavor and it's better for you. Don't get me wrong, you know, I love pork too. But if you can find, you know, ways to sneak in that healthy food and it tastes good too. Why not do it? That way you can afford to eat the pork whenever you want to eat it. Mmm, speaking of pork, somebody made some ribs last week. Woo woo! <laughs> mm -mm. We might have to have a rerun of those ribs. Those were the best. Oh, as a matter of fact, y'all know what ribs I'm talking about. <laughs> y'all know exactly what ribs I'm talking about. Woo, they were good. So, all right, that's that. All we need from that. And then the cranberries, you can add right before, after it comes to a bowl, you can add it right before you simmer it, or you can save it until the end and add it then after you already cooked it and just fold them in, not with the liquid, we'll drain them out, but then you just fold it in. It smells so good. It's just onions and turkey bacon. Okay, so we're gonna let that sweat out for a little while longer. As a matter of fact, if I cover it, it might do better. There we go. And I'm gonna cover the rice and let it come up to a boil. And then we'll get back to you. Um, the Swiss chard, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it up. I'm sure y'all are familiar, but in case you're not, I'll just show you a few. And this, you know, it's just, it's greens, but because as the red stem, it's red chard or people know it's Swiss chard. So, and you can use all of it. And these have been soaking for a long time, so yes, they're clean. And I just yeah, roll them up. Yeah, like explain this. to people that. Oh yeah, they these have come. To really dirty and gritty so you have to, I mean you you literally have to soak them in a big pot of water or a sink of water you have to completely submerge them and then all the dirt will literally fall to the bottom you know just take your hand and swish in it a little bit 
Right, because regular just rinsing it off. It's not going to get not going to get it. You'll have the most gritty, gritty green <laughs> trust. It'll, uh, we have tasted it before from our, we'll taste it, we have tasted it before from other people cooking greens and we're like what in the world is this and aren't they so. pretty aren't these so pretty look at the red all through it I don't know I guess that's just me but I like pretty stuff that is going to be so good taking the bottoms off these are a little bit rough but the rest of the stuff has a lot of So while I'm chopping these, I guess we're gonna take a um, pause for the pause and get back at you. Y'all pretty much get the idea with how to chop them up. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, so our onions and turkey bacon has sweat down. They are ready for the Swiss chard to be added. See how soft and clear they are? They are? So that's how you want it to look. Very soft and perfect. All right, so now I'm ready to add my Swiss chard. And we're gonna go ahead and add this beautiful chard. Isn't that so pretty? Mm. And you see how much this is? You know it just sweats down to Nearly nothing. Get some made there. Let me see if I can get some tongs and try and turn just a little bit. I have to let it sweat out for a few. I'm gonna try to pull the onions up and in between. That rotate the onions and ham. So all of that flavor just mixed through. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Just turn a little bit more. I might lose a few. Y'all bear with me. Okay. And because there's really not a lot of liquid in that pot. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. This is about three bunches of chard. So I got about a half a cup of water because I salted the onions and the um, ham pretty heavily. So if you go easy on the salt and you want to have the flavor, all you do is substitute the water that I put in for chicken broth. I would just do chicken broth, but since I know that I seasoned the onions and um, ham so heavily, I'm not gonna use the broth because it would be too salty. So I'm just gonna let that cook down for about 30 minutes. And by then we'll be put, pulling the chicken out. The rice is almost ready. I don't know if you can take a little quick gander at that. <laughs> Gandy, I like that. Um, and see how all of the almonds, all of the liquid is almost gone. Perfect. So now is when I'm gonna add my cranberries. I'm just draining that liquid off, that um, vinegar. And they have all different flavors of vinegar now, so you can really slice it. You can do pretty much anything you want to rice and make it this fabulous side dish. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So again, you have shallots, almonds, and cranberry with brown rice brown rice there's some red rice, red rice white rice wild rice it's a whole mix man i, I would never I, yeah, I would never thought to spot that but <laughs> when i saw you know me i was like i, was I like, know Ooh. yeah you are the car person I think. in this in this uh, relationship here you are the car person <laughs> i bring the carbs to the table not the cards the carbs no. <laughs> <laughs> all right so all right i'm gonna just cover this up and let this go for a little while longer that's gonna be so yummy and we will get back to y'all in just a little bit. I'm gonna let this chicken go for a little while longer. And that's it, we're gonna bring this whole thing together. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, one more thing I forgot to tell y'all. Anytime you're making greens, and I got this from Rachel Ray, so no, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just saying that it makes the greens, any greens you do, make, that makes them taste so well. 
this is nutmeg who would have thought it not me so you see about how much i'm putting on it that's like less than a quarter maybe an eighth of a teaspoon just of some nutmeg and it's gonna I'm, i don't know what it is about nutmeg but it gives it that little extra mm, little kick so that's it all right back at you in just a little bit i just wanted to tell y'all that one little thing i didn't want to add it to to it behind your back <laughs> so all right there you go i'm gonna toss this around just a little bit just to mix it up and now i know how the chefs feel on the Food Network when they're like, mmm, that smells so good. Don't you wish you could smell it? I wish y'all could smell it. <laughs> Hopefully y'all will try it and then you'll be like, mmm. Yeah, this is, it smells real good. It smells so good. And look how simple this is, y'all. This is so easy. Y'all see it, you see it in the making. It's so easy. You do it. You can do it, put your back into it. All right, stop. I'll see <laughs> okay. Chicken is out of the oven, and the garlic, I don't know if you can see it, but like, look at the garlic. This is the garlic. Look at that. Mm, caramelized perfectly. Potatoes are soft. Mm. Peppers, soft. Chicken is nice and brown. Ooh, look at that garlic. Garlic mm, that's so sweet. Ooh, look at that. That's the goodness right there. It, it just and that's the 40. That's all the garlic at the bottom for the cold. And you see, y'all, to make sure y'all put it in a cast iron, iron skillet. Yeah. skillet. Yeah, you can let that join up. See all of that goodness under there? Yeah. <laughs> that's all good old roasted garlic, young. And it's so good. Ooh, so when you that. mix that up, Tender. oh yeah, chicken just breaking this falling, falling apart. apart. <laughs> That's what happens. Mm -hmm. We're good juicy chicken, but we gotta let it sit for a little bit. Yeah. You know. Okay, and let's take the char. Mm -hmm. mm. That's gonna be good. So boiled down to a lot. And you saw that little bit of liquid we put in there, but it mm -hmm. still made a lot more. Mm, that smells so good. Yeah, that does. Yeah. That nutmeg that you said smells wonderful in there. You smell it? Yeah. And this is the wild rice with the cranberries and almonds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I taste it. It's delicious. Yes, <laughs> yes. I taste the rice that came out so good. Mm. Well, so. I hope y'all try it. It's the business to me. I love it. Chicken, char, wild rice. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. So, at the last minute, of course, I always want a little bit of sauce with something. So, I just did a um, balsamic vinegar reduction. All it is is just regular vinegar, balsamic vinegar. And I just put it straight in the pan and just turned it on and simmered it for a minute. And it just turned into a glaze. And this is good on a lot of stuff, especially this chicken over here that I'm going to taste for you. Hmm, what's it going to do? <laughs> so the chicken, mm. this is the, the garlic and just look at how soft it is. Just put some chicken and some garlic, and look at this roasted pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, garlic lovers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at this piece of garlic. You wouldn't think that you would like to eat a whole piece of garlic, but it's so sweet, and it just oh my goodness. Mm. This is some more dark meat. Oh, and this rice, insane. Ridiculous. Mm. 